All right, I, I normally call um, CNN Fox Light, but I, I have to admit, CNN has been all over uh, these two murders, and um, they pretty much have given uh, given them nonstop coverage uh, since last night. And you know, I hate to admit it, but uh, I, I didn't go to sleep last night because this thing bothered me so much, and, and I put my first video up on this thing. Uh, somewhere well it's it's just coming up now about 730 but uh, I started making that video about uh, four o'clock this morning anyway here's the uh, additional CNN coverage I want to bring in CNN political commentator and political anchor for New York uh, One News Errol Lewis and joining us in uh, just a minute we'll have Cedric Alexander he is a CNN law enforcement analyst and chief of police in DeKalb County Georgia and then last but not least we have Mayor James Knowles he's the mayor of Ferguson Missouri a town that certainly knows this kind of tragedy all too well uh, Michael Brown of course was fatally shot by Ferguson police uh, the mayor also the author of the new guardians so I want to I want to talk to you Errol about this we've heard right now from Hillary Clinton She's weighed in on the first shooting. Uh, this is essential, right, that these candidates weigh in. Uh, and uh, we have not heard from Donald Trump. So what should we what should we be expecting from these people running for president? Has Hillary Clinton uh, done what she should? And should Donald Trump weigh in? What, what we should expect is that the candidates will rise to the level of the questions that are put to them. If you ask them simplistic questions, they will give you simplistic answers and they'll tell you as little as they can get away with because that's what candidates do uh, in campaign season. What we should be asking them, and this is a question I actually put to Secretary Clinton during the final Democratic debate, uh, is the 1994 crime control bill that her husband signed into law, it includes a provision that often doesn't get discussed. I couldn't get it in during the debate as a matter of fact, but there's a provision that for 20 years that has been ignored, it says that the Attorney General of the United States shall, not may or should, but shall publish annually uh, a record of police killings nationwide. That provision of the crime control bill, uh, a law, has never been enforced. Congress has uh, screwed around with the funding for it. The implementation of it has been made voluntary by the 17,000 police departments around the nation. And so we actually don't have a clear picture of what is going on. The media has... All right, and I had made mention of that uh, when I had done a review on the 1994 crime bill when I was uh, getting all over uh, Hillary Clinton. Republicans and Democrats alike are guilty of this. They were in a giant rush to enforce all of the increased sentencing and additional charges and everything else that was associated with that bill. But as far as actually providing the information so that the country would know just how bad the police shooting situation is, and especially in the minority communities, they not only were in no rush, they actually juggled the budget so that that particular requirement was stalled for funding. And again, let me repeat, that is a function of both Republicans and Democrats. So now we're only guessing, and there are a couple of, uh, of uh, political, uh, uh, political newspapers like the Washington Post, I believe, that attempts to tr keep track of those numbers. But the Republicans jump up and down so much about following the law. Why aren't they out there talking about following the law as far as getting that information? The answer is they don't want that information known. They don't want it known because the police departments around the country don't want to let that information get out. It seems to me that the police departments are acting just like the NRA. When the NRA doesn't want a, a law passed, that law doesn't get passed. Well, I guess the various police departments have gotten together around the country and they don't want to report the uh, data as far as uh, the officer involved shootings then that information is not going to come out. If we don't do another damn thing, I'm talking to 
the Congressional Black Caucus, the Hispanic Black Caucus, if there's an Asian Black Caucus, and I believe there is, I'm talking to every last one of them, you need to hold Hillary Clinton's feet to the fire if she gets elected. And if it's Trump, you need to put your foot up his ass so that we get that information. Since Mr. Trump claims he's going to be so good for his African-American people. Tried. Some community organizations have tried. The Guardian newspaper is keeping its own count. I think the Washington Post is too. But we really don't have a comprehensive uh, look at a really important topic. And if we did nothing else but get the next president to vow to actually implement that very key provision, we'd have a starting point so that we could understand what's going on and then how to address it. Ferguson Mayor uh, James Knowles on the phone with me uh, now. Mayor, what is your reaction to this shooting, both of these shootings? You've seen this, it's horrific video. Uh, both of them are horrific. The newest one coming out of Minnesota. And what does this mean for governance, for what these presidential candidates uh, should be proposing? You've certainly had to deal uh, with a lot of issues of community policing. What do you think uh, we need to hear from them? I think we need to hear uh, a nationwide discussion, continue a nationwide discussion on how we should be policing into the 21st century. There's a lot that we've done here in the city of Ferguson over the past uh, couple of years now to put safeguards in place to ensure that uh, people's rights and liberties are protected. Uh, we, we've been implemented body cameras, which is uh, an excellent um, tool in, in helping um, with transparency and accountability. Um, but, you know, there's nationwide, we have police departments who are still some of them doing things the old fashioned way and as we move into the 21st century, we need to have a discussion, continue the discussion as to how police officers should be interacting in the community and tools that we can bring to bear to keep uh, law enforcement accountable and transparent. Cedric, I wanna ask you about that because you hear the mayor saying that in Ferguson, they've now implemented body cams. That was not the case uh, during the shooting of Michael Brown. Now they have body cams. But it seems, of course, if a, a, a police department, uh, and as I, as I recall, actually, they had the funding for body cams, it hadn't been implemented. So why does it take, uh, in some of these cases, a terrible shooting before police departments and municipalities realize these things need to be in place? Look, almost a year and a half ago, President Obama uh, enacted the 21st Century Task Force, which I was grateful to be part of, edited by Chuck Ramsey and Lori Robinson. Uh, what came out of that report, and I'm quite sure everyone is, many people are very well familiar with, are a lot of the same issues that we're discussing today, building trust and legitimacy, uh, right along to developing community relationships. We talked about technology and body cameras and the importance of body cameras. The funding has been a, a real serious issue for many departments across this country, uh, but at the same time, we all understand the importance of having that piece of technology as part of our repertoire today as we engage and continue to engage our community. Uh, all right, he, he's spewing a lot of bullshit, okay? That report was completed over a year and a half ago, and that just uh, goes to tell you what uh, Obama's focus is as far as trying to do something that's going to help a lot of communities, but in particular, uh, communities of color. If body cameras are mandated and police departments across the country don't want to do it, it's real simple. You stop providing them with federal funds. Damn near every police department in this country receives federal funds. And if they can't find their way to get body cameras up on everybody, then you short them in their pocketbooks going forward until they can find their way to uh, fund those body cameras. But of course, President Obama he, he convenes a uh, task force. They come out with recommendations and basically, you know, he forgets all about it. Uh, the way that we do. Yeah. But, but look, 
Uh, the issue is here is that we have a community today across this country and that is crying out to find answers to what has happened uh, in two communities across this country, Baton Rouge and there in Minnesota, over the last couple of days. Those are just two communities. There are a hell of a lot more communities where this is going down. So for you to say two communities, that's being disingenuous. You should say there are multiple communities because there are a lot of these things going on. They just haven't gotten the same publicity that these two murders have gotten. In one case, you had body cameras that reportedly fell off the officers during a fight in Baton Rouge. In another case, there in Minnesota, where there were no body cameras whatsoever. Uh, so these are going to be issues that are going to certainly, uh, uh, the American people are going to question. But it's yep. a piece of technology that we got to have, we got to utilize it, we got to find funding for it. Uh, and every community have to do that. But let me say Senator, one more Senator, thing. No, I, yeah. I just, uh, I'm sorry, I have to get Mayor Michael Nutter in, and I won't yeah. even get him in unless I, I wrap you right there. Gotcha. I do want to ask you, uh, the former Philly mayor and, and also Hillary Clinton supporter, I know where you come down on this politically as we shift this back to politics here. Obviously, you support Hillary Clinton. Uh, but what is she going to do to try to provide, assuming she gets into the White House, some sort of national leadership on this issue that is not going away? Well, in all of these matters, and uh, this is a disgusting uh, situation. I've seen both of the videos, and we've seen so many of these other cases uh, over time. Uh, I think uh, Secretary Clinton's statement, early, sta early on statement, uh, right in the aftermath of these two, is very, very clear. Uh, she's been very focused on issues of uh, profiling of uh, preventing crime, uh, but also the training uh, that is necessary. I agree with the police chief. Uh, certainly on the one hand, uh, body cameras are very important and they're expensive on the back end, but the camera is only going to tell you what uh, is taking place or has taken place. Training is critically important and there's no question uh, that uh, Secretary Clinton uh, will also provide the necessary funding for training for the officers all across uh, the United States of America. I think we're at a point where the Department of Justice literally needs to call in uh, the police chiefs across America uh, to really have a serious discussion about what is going on all across this nation. Sure, it's, uh, a, it's a big conversation that needs to happen. Do you think... Frightened by black men. Is, is she going to push, as Errol said, there, there doesn't exist at this point in time, but there's been a proposal for it, a record of police killings nationwide so that we have a better picture of, of, of what's going on? The question is, is she going to push for the enforcement of the law? The law is already on the books. So is she going to push her attorney general to enforce that particular law? I would certainly expect that she should uh, and would. Uh, there's no reason that the Uniform Crime Reports should not be able to capture and gather that information as much as we gather homicide, shootings, part one crimes, et cetera, et cetera. We have to have uh, the uh, ability to analyze what's going on across America with officer-involved shootings. There's no debate about that. Michael Nutter, thanks so much. Mayor All right, so it may be too late to hold Obama's feet to the fire because uh, he's uh, assing out of there uh, within the next six months. But we damn sure need to hold Hillary Clinton accountable. And a lot of black people didn't want to jump up and down on Obama. Okay, that's you know neither here nor there at this point. Black people, what is your excuse for not holding Hillary Clinton responsible? Answer me that.